YouTube, what's good with y'all, man? It's Lord Shift, and we're back at it again with another banger video, of course. And as y'all can see, my hair is gone. I got no dreads no more. No more dreads. No longer a dreadhead. I had the curly hair back, as y'all can see. But y'all didn't click this video just to, you know, see my hair and shit like that. We're not here for that. You guys click this video because you want to know how much it costs to get an oil change in a Dodge Charger RT. Charger 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. So I'm here to give you guys all the information you need to know about getting an oil change and all that stuff. And I'm also going to give you guys a short little video on how to do it yourself because I'm here to help you save some money, man. I'm going to help y'all save some money. I'm going to get y'all changing y'all own oils, man. When y'all get the car, if you're in the market for this car, you don't got it yet. Or if you do have the RT and you like, man, I don't want to pay this much to get an oil change. I'm going to just do it myself. I'm just here to tell you guys that you could do anything and it's easy as fuck. And I'm going to show y'all how to do it. First of all, I want to start off by saying I take my car to Jiffy Lube to get the oil change. They charge about 120 bucks, um, which ain't too bad. Also, Valvoline, they charge about 120 bucks. And there's, you know, other places that you can go to that charge about around 100 to 130 um, for oil changes. And it got to a point where I was like, fuck that shit. If they could do it, I could do it. So uh, once again, I'm going to show you guys what you need to do your own oil changes, the, the prices of everything and what I grabbed. Stay tuned to the end of the video, of course. Smash that like button. Definitely subscribe. We on the way to 10K, man. We're 1,000 subscribers away from 10,000. So smash that subscribe button. I'm going to just go straight into the video. So stay tuned to the end. All right, guys. Before we start, I got to show you what oil we're using. We're using Mobile One Extended Performance Protects for 20,000 miles. 5W20. Full synthetic. So grab this exact oil. Make sure you take a screenshot of this shit right now. Take this to your nearest auto zone or advanced auto parts and grab this exact stuff. You need seven quarts of 5W20. So this is five quarts right here. This is, you know, one and one. Um, so that's eight. Say, so, nah, this is seven. And then we got this right here, which is the oil filter. Same brand, same shit, same thing. The number is M1113A. So take this to your nearest auto zone or advanced auto parts. And grab all these items this is your oil filter right here and this is your oil 5w20 for my 5.7 liter charger rt or challenger rt owners only not srt niggas so grab that that's it for your oil let's move on to the actual materials and things that you need to do this oil change yourself all right guys now for the materials for the tools and the materials the number one thing you need is a jack grab a jack and grab jack stands for your safety so once you jack it up on both sides or one side, put the jack stand right under. Unfortunately, I'm doing this unsafe as fuck. Do not do it the way I'm doing it. But as you can see, the jack is sinking into the floor and I cannot get the jack stand under. So I'm going to try to be quick with it. Um, I think I got this. I think the jack is sturdy because it's in the ground. But do not do it how I'm doing it. If you have um, lowering springs on your Charger RT, you're going to have to drive up on some wood. So put the wood... In front of your tire, just drive up on it. Two by four, you can grab this at Lowe's or Home Depot uh, for about $2. Um, I put that on both sides. I don't know why, because I'm only using that side. I only have one jack. You do need a three-ton jack, by the way. That is a two-ton. So once again, I'm doing this completely fucked up. Don't do it how I'm doing it. But grab the materials and then feel me. Grab a three-ton jack. Jack it up high enough. Throw these underneath. Boom, just like that, just to hold it up. So it doesn't fall on you. And I'm lowered as well. So if this falls, I'm dicked. Grab oil pan. You're going to need something to have the oil come out of into. You're going to need a 10 millimeter um, wrench kind of thing. Grab that. Well, I think it's a 10. It might be a 13. I don't know. One of them. We'll figure it out once we get under there. Gloves. Most importantly, you don't want oil all on your hands. Uh, rag. Grab a rag. Gloves. Grab a glove. Grab another glove. And let's get started. And then your tool bag by your side in case you need some other shit. But I don't think you'll need other shit. So let's get to it, y'all. Easy ass job. All right, guys. So as you can see, we got the oil filter right here. That's what we're going to be taking off and replacing. As you can see, Jiffy Lube put some basic shit on my, on my car. We don't want that nasty oil filter no more. So we're going to take that off and put on the one that I bought. And then here is the bolt that we're going to take off. 
and the oil is just gonna come splurring out of that motherfucker into the pan. So this is a 13 millimeter um, socket that you'll need, something like this. So this should take that screw right off, that bolt right off, and the oil should come right out into this pan. So um, I'm gonna do that real quick and then get back with you guys in a second. But yeah, right here and right there. Let's get it, y'all. The jack holding up pretty sturdy too, I ain't gonna lie. But hopefully I don't die under here. Let's get it. As you guys can see, this bitch was hard as a fuck to get off. My fault, y'all. I'm tired. Oh, this bitch about to just leak out. Three, two, and one. Oh, shit. Damn, this bitch hot as a bitch. Oil is draining successfully. Damn, that shit was hot as fuck. But all right, y'all, I'm tired. So now that we got this off, we gotta get that bitch off right there. That was my last oil change, April 5th, 2023. As you can see the date on there. But all right, y'all, I'm gonna catch up with y'all once this gets done draining. That was a lot of oil. This is 9% of oil right here. Just nine. All right, guys, once you have the bulk completely out and all the oil drained into the pan, you wanna dump out all the oil from here um you should have it just dripping once it's dripping like you should be fine to put the cap back on or the um the screw which is right here i accidentally dropped this in the pan like a dumbass but it's cool it's whatever we're gonna screw this back on so that's the first thing you want to do guys dump out drain out all the oil from here screw it back on and then once you screw it back on you got to take that off and i'll show you guys that process hopefully that's not hard to take off but yeah let's get it so as y'all can see that's that nasty ass default ass service champ filter that jiffy Lou gives you you don't want this shit man you don't want this you don't know what first of all you don't know what jiffy Lou, valvoline firestone pet boys you don't know what filter they're giving you they can give you some bullshit like this perfect example so what i went and did on my own was buy this filter right here mobile one as you can see you guys saw it in the beginning of the video and we're gonna throw this bad boy on. Look, look at this high quality ass shit. And then look at this bullshit. The fuck is this? Like, look at the holes on this. And then look at, like, bro, come on, bro. This is about to make me push 500 horsepower right here. That's about, that's about to be the title. How to make your Charger RT push 500 horsepower and beat scat packs. So you guys got the filter right here. Make sure you pay attention to this step. So you wanna grab the smallest bottle of oil. You want to fill this up with oil first. Actually, no, no, no. I'm wrong. Finger. Put your finger in the oil. I'm being dead ass. Rub it around this outer piece so that this won't be so hard to take off on your next oil change. Just like that. Then you fill it up with the oil. You could do either step first. It doesn't matter. Just like that. like that should fill up that should be good enough so once you got that guys you're gonna throw this bitch right on as y'all can see man we got the filter twisted on there make sure when you twist it on there it don't got to be super tight but make sure it's pretty tight and then wipe it off with a rag to get all the excess oil from around it off of it and then once this is tight and that bolt is back in you're pretty much good to go this bolt right here by the way I don't know if you guys can see it. That one right there. But um, pretty much good to go. And you can get from under the car. All right, y'all, you wanna open your hood. Take off this cat right here. Make sure you got the right oil because you don't wanna be tripping. Fuck your motor up if you get the wrong oil. So 5W20, 5W20, full synthetic. Make sure you got a funnel. Put it right there. Get your five quarts. And then start pouring. I did put a rag over this in case I spill it. You don't want to fuck your engine up or your stuff up like that. And just slowly pour the quartz in there just like that. And then I'm not going to let y'all watch the whole process, but that's pretty much what you do. Pour all seven quartz inside of this funnel. So, so once you guys got that, once you pour the oil inside of this, 
You want to turn the cap back on, obviously. Make sure it's nice and tight. Hand tight. And then um, you're pretty much good to go. Oil change is pretty much done. I apologize if I sound very exhausted. I am. Because this shit took a little minute for my first time. It took like 30 minutes. Like, not even like an hour. But, um... Make sure you got nothing sitting under here. You good to go to just close your hood. And we just gonna let the car run for a good five minutes before we drive it. And um, also reset the oil life on this bad boy. So I'm gonna do that right now. We're also gonna reset it. It says to reset oil life, you gotta turn off your car pretty much, turn it back on. We just gonna let it sit for five minutes. So it's 7.44, I'll catch up with y'all at 7.49 in five minutes. So, um, and then we gonna reset it, but stay tuned. Another thing I meant to mention is while it's running, make sure nothing is leaking from underneath of the car. Make sure you got the, screw, the screws tight. If you see nothing is leaking, then you pretty much good to go. Just wait them five minutes and you good. All right, y'all, so we gonna turn the engine off. It's 7.49, go to run. Then we're gonna reset the oil life. 100%. Let's go, baby. Just save 60, 70 dollars. Just like that. 100%, as you guys can see, one more time. And we back. So, that's how you do an oil change, y'all. Easy, simple as that. And as y'all can see, man, we got that 100% oil life. We is back to life. That's how you save 60, 70 dollars, man. Just like that. It took an hour and a half. It wasn't bad. And that was only because I couldn't really find the tools at first. That's why it took me so long. Like to y'all, it seemed like it was fast, but I couldn't find the 13 millimeter socket. And then I couldn't find, um, I think that was it. I just couldn't find that socket. But as you see, man, we back to life 100%. Feel me? We pretty much good to go. So just let her sit for a little bit, let her stay on. Right now she's been sitting for a good like 10, 20 minutes. Yeah, y'all, we about to take her for a drive. We about to get out of here in this video, man. So thank y'all for tuning in. As y'all can see, I look crazy as hell right now, man. The hat's gone, it's getting dark. Um, I look really sweaty, really nasty. So it took, it took a pretty decent amount of work for the first time. But it wasn't that bad. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I, I just saved $60, $70, just like that, at least minimum. So um, it's something anybody can do. You could do it yourself. So if you stay tuned to the end of this video and you watch this whole process, I really appreciate you for staying tuned. I appreciate you for subscribing. For all the subscribers out there who subscribe to me, I appreciate y'all. We on the road to 10K, man. We a 1,000 subscribers away, man. We not that far. Give me the 10K. And I promise y'all, I'm going to keep dropping y'all bangers, man. Let's get it. But um, we're going to end the video here. Once again, I apologize for how crazy I look. It's Lord Shift, and we out. Hold on, I got to show y'all that 100% one more time before we Damn. Damn. Y'all see it? We back, nigga. We're going to end it here, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in.